Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my favorite dolls out of my doll collection. Uh, this is Polly Pigtails. She uses the Maggie mold, um, the Maggie doll head mold from Madame Alexander. She was, um, she was made in the 1950s and she's made um, out of all, all hard plastic. Uh, the Maggie mold is most definitely my favorite out of all of the Madame Alexander doll molds. Um, she has such a very sweet face. The Polly Pigtail doll is um, a rather rare doll, hard doll to find. Um, so when you do find her, she is she can be quite expensive. Um, this doll is not um, in pristine condition. I don't collect pristine uh, condition dolls just because I'm really clumsy and um, I do like to um, I do like to touch them and to display them and I don't have a uh, glass case. So I, I do think that all dolls should be um, cared for in that way but um, you know not everybody can afford to you know put all their dolls in a, in a glass case. So anyway, um, this particular um, Madame Alexander, uh, she's in really good condition um, for um, not being put in a glass case. And I know that she hasn't because she's got um, a little bit of damage here and there. She does have a little bit of a scuff on her cheek. Her eyes are needing to be cleaned. I wouldn't say that they are crystallizing, but they are starting to get um, rather dingy. Um, something cool about this doll is that her eyelashes are, they're not, uh, dark. They're not dark brown and they're not, um, uh, black. They are kind of a reddish color. And then she has some lashes painted on the bottom. Um, the rest of her makeup is really well done. Her eyebrows are missing. Um, but, um. Her lips are still pretty much intact. She's a very cute, very cute, pretty doll. Uh, one thing that's a, a pretty uh, a pretty good indicator that uh, you have a poly pigtails is the straight bangs. Um, on most of Madame Alexander's dolls, um, if they have bangs, they're really, really curly, really tight curls. This doll has floss hair and um, and very flat, straight bangs. Um, as far as her outfit is concerned, well, let me show you the back of her, of her, uh, braids. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, the, like I said, her hair is floss. I don't believe that her hair has ever been out of, of, um, these, uh, pigtails, ever. I think that whoever had her probably tried to take the best care of her as possible, so they never removed her out of the braids, which is outstanding. Um, her dress that she has on is not an original Polly Pigtails dress. Um, when I look at the tag, and I've left it out on purpose, I don't believe that this doll is marked either. So, um, but I do know that it's Polly Pigtails because of, um, because of the, um, bangs. But, uh, when I look at the, at the, um, the tag on this dress, it says Madeline and or Madeline Madeline and I don't know I haven't done any research on that yet if anybody knows who Madeline is um, I know that this is not the dress that belongs to this doll even though it looks very cute on her it is a little bit small um, I think that um, most all of Madame Alexandra's dolls, um, they have slips and they have heavy slips. They have, uh, sometimes they have a couple of slips and some under, underclothes that would make it so that this dress, you wouldn't be able to put this dress on this doll if it had all of its original slips and stuff. Um, and the pantaloons, I think that this whole outfit belongs to whatever doll that is um, that it says on the tag, which is Madeline. As you can see, some of these buttons here, you can tell they're stretched a little bit. That's why I don't think that this is the original dress. I would love to find the original dress for Polly Pockets, or, or Polly Pockets, I mean, 
um, probably pigtails. Um, I would love to find her original dress. Um, and I don't know, I don't know exactly what I would be looking for. Um, I've seen a couple of different styles, a bluish type of dress, um, and then one that is kind of an ivory. But um, I do know that this isn't it, but I just kept her in this. I did get this doll as a gift. Um, but um, I just, I went ahead and I kept her in this dress with the hope that one day I would get her dress and then maybe find the doll Madeline. Um, and if I find the doll Madeline, she will be probably pretty pricey because um, this dress here, I can tell, is, is probably... Um, at least as old as the 50s so I know that um, uh, just by the style of the dress that it is that it's not 60s it's uh, 50s and quite and probably even 40s because it's linen and um, I can tell that it's very vintage so I, I'd be excited to know who the Madeleine doll is um, as far as markings on her, I don't believe there are any markings. I think I've already said that. And then her shoes. Uh, the shoes are very curious as well. And I don't know if Madame Alexander made shoes like this or if this was something that somebody made for her. Just um, It kind of looks like it's a handmade shoe. So I don't, I don't know. Um, it looks like they took a regular doll shoe and cut the tip of it off and made it like it's kind of like a sandal. I do know that these socks are not original, uh, but it is kind of a cute look. But I don't think um, I don't think that that's <laughs> I don't think that's an original shoe. And I'm kind of sad that they would have cut um, a vintage shoe um, for this pattern. But you know, there again, without me knowing what um, kind of a dress pig. Um, Polly Pigtails would have worn I wouldn't even know what kind of shoe to try to find either so if anybody knows any more information about what she would have worn and who Madeline is um, please leave it in the comments for me uh, so this is Polly Pigtails if you guys like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video